Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Rushi Panchal and in this video we are going to learn Blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Blur tool is a versatile feature located in Adobe Photoshop toolbar. You can find it grouped with other related tools such as a sharpen tool and a smudge tool. So friends, let's select this Blur tool. So friends, the cursor of the Blur tool looks like a circle. We can make it bigger or a smaller according to our requirement. To make the blur cursor smaller or a bigger, press the left or a right bracket key. This shortcut key is also useful for increasing and decreasing the size of the cursor in all other tools. Okay, so here is the blur tool icon. Reassemble a droplet indicate its ability to soften and blur areas of your images as you can see over here. So friends, to apply a blur to your image, simply click and drag the blur tool over the areas you want to soften. As you drag the tool, you see the selected area gradually blur, create a smooth soften effect. Now as you can see, it's getting blur. Okay. Uh, if I'm making blur this, see the blur effect. Now, if you want to increase and decrease the depth of the blur or the hardness of the blur, for that you need to check the all the option in the blur tool. So friends, as with almost all the Photoshop tool, you can adjust the blur tools brush size and a brush type. To make this adjustment, click the brush preset over here. Okay, from here, you can select a brush size, brush hardness or a brush type. Fine. So friends, here you can increase and decrease the size as you can see here, the size of the brush is increased as well as the size of the brush is decreased. Okay, you can change. You can also change the hardness from here. I am just increase the hardness to 100% and uh, just select the brush this one. Next you can see a mode. Okay, so you can also modify the strength and mode of the brush tool. Then determine the brush amount of blur. The brush create and range from the 0 to 100 as you can see over here. The mode refer to how the brush effect blend with the rest of the image. By default, the mode is set to normal. So friends, don't worry about the mode option and the number of other adjustments. Those options are more advanced. For now, let's focus on a blurry the image with the brush size normal mode. Okay, you likely to use a normal mode most of the editing time. So friends, second you can see the strength. To set the strength of the blur, select the strength option from the menu and define the strength of the blur. The higher the strength will provide a hard blur and the lower the strength will blur the object lightly. So first of all, this is 11% and if I am blur uh, on this uh, girl and as you can see, this is a so lightly effect because the brush strength will be 13%. Okay, now I make it 100%. But first of all, what I am doing, I am just duplicate this layer so you can see the before and after result. Okay, I am just make it 100% and I am just start blurring on this image. Okay, and as you can see the result, this is the original, this is a blurry one. Okay. Fine. So friend, that was a strength. Okay, you can increase and decrease the strength according to a requirement as I already told you how the strength is worked. Okay, now next is a simple all. The sample all layer will apply the effect on all the layer available in a workspace. For example, if there are more than three, four images and you want to apply image all image at a time, then you can use this option. Mostly this sample all layer is unchecked because mostly we are working on a single layer. Okay. So friends, this is all about a blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. Now we are going to see the example where we are just going to blur all the rest of this part of the image and make this girl clear. Okay. For that, first of all, we are going to use an other tool, which is a lasso tool. Okay. If you don't know about the lasso tool, we'll provide a link in the description below. Okay. You can check the lasso tool. We are already uh, have a detailed video about all the lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so I am just using a magnetic lasso tool and selecting this girl.
I just make it roughly, okay, but whenever you are working on this, then try to make it more precise. I just make this roughly as I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so again, if you want to move your workspace, like if you want to move this image, then just press space. Okay, so that the hand icon will came. So you can move like this. So your area will not distracted. Now again, it started. Again, I want to move this area, just space it or you can also zoom it. Okay, just crawl from your mouse and press Alt. And it's done. Okay, so now this area is selected. Now what I want to do, I want to inverse this selection because we want to blur rest of the area. Okay, so for that go to select and here you can see the inverse. Okay, you can also use keyboard shortcut shift plus control plus I to inverse the selection. Okay, just select this and as you can see the area is inverse. Now what you can do you just select a blur tool okay increase the size of this blur and just brush around this area see as you can see the rest of the area is getting blur but our object is still clear okay you can just increase the strength So friends, here you can see the result. This is our original image. Okay. And this is our the image which we already make it blur. See the blur effect. Okay. So friends, that's all about a blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. Okay. This is a simple blur tool. Okay. In the next video, we are going to learn a different type of blur tool in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.